Okay, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what is it? It's Saturday morning, and yeah, uh, we're not working today, but we are. I am. Uh, I got. I'm gonna go do the jobs that me and Anthony would normally do. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard from Anthony, uh, but you know he's. You know he's doing another. Uh, you know, well he. You know he was just out here to help me from time to time, uh, and he. And you know he's learning the real estate game. And kudos to him for, uh, you know, doing what he needs to do uh, to make a better future for himself. So, yeah. Uh, so, there, you know, I didn't do a video. yet. I did a video yesterday. And I might insert some of that into today's video. Uh, but, yeah. <clears throat> so, I got a couple things going on. So, y'all know I'm, I'm going to be getting a, uh, I'm going to be having a building built. I got a buddy of mine, uh, you know, he works on trailers, and I was telling you guys that, I, that you know, I took my my uh, my trailer up there to his shop uh, last week. Well, while I was there, I didn't even mention this, was I, I didn't, you know, uh, I, I just didn't think about it. Well, while I was there, he, uh, you know, he told me, he said, well, he's got to move out of that place, right? And he has these big boy shelves, y'all. I mean, these are freaking... They're eight foot long, and I think he's, I think they're eight foot tall, and they are heavy freaking duty shelves, man. I mean, uh, these are the type of shelves that, well, you could uh, pick up a freaking car and put it on them, you know. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean they are heavy duty, and I'll I'll get a little bit of video of that. Uh, so y'all get this. So he told me he would sell me. He's got about seven or eight of them, and they're big. They're eight foot long. Uh, they're eight foot tall, and I want to say they're probably you know three foot deep. They they are Mac Daddy shelves, man. And he's got half inch plywood on them. I mean, they are just you know. I was looking down the other day. I'm like, oh my god, dude. You know. Uh, and I was just you know talking to him, and I was like, man. He says, everything in here has got to go. And I'm like, really? I'm like, what you going to do with all these shelves? And he said, well, I don't know. He said, I'm going I'm to, uh, you know, move them out of here. And I'm like, okay, uh, cool. And so I, I talked to him. He said he had to, probably had to have about 300 each for those shelves, right? But let me call him and see if he's going to be there today. Uh, so I can, if, if he's not going to be there today, then I, there ain't no sense in me keep talking about it. <laughs> Uh, but I couldn't get these shelves out of my brain after I left there and y'all know I'm fixing to build a shop <phone rings> shelves like this would be Mac Daddy did the daddy hello hey man you up there today oh we are uh, hmm. you'll be up there what time do you boys you be, you oh, I, be I, I, no, I, I'm not sure I just thought you were going to be up there working or whatever yeah, you tell me what time I meet you down there. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, you, yeah. you, oh, you're not gonna be over there packing up or nothing? Oh yeah, I I, I head down there. Yeah. It's gonna be a couple of hours though, you know. Uh, yeah, just a, just call me, but uh, I head down there. Does that fort lift work? Yeah. So you we can pick them up, put them on my trailer. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, are the is the wood on those things? Is it is it screwed down? No. Okay. But I ain't you going. Take, yeah, I ain't going that far. Yeah, you can take all the wood out. Is that is wood. that uh is that half inch plywood? No, it's three quarter. Oh damn! He only wants three hundred bucks each for him. Uh, he wants three hundred bucks each for him. I'll see if he'll work a deal, but even if he don't, it don't matter. $300 each for these shelves is a steal. I mean, a steal. Uh, I guarantee you I could get these shelves. I could buy all that he's got. He's got a bunch of them. Uh, and I guarantee you, you could sell them for 500 bucks each all day long. All day long. Okay, so... Uh, one of the videos I was watching this this morning was by uh, uh, Florida uh, Florida Turf Pros, and he 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 does a lot of mowing. You know that's what he well, at least that's what he shows on his channel. 
Uh, and he runs a legit business, man. Uh, he's a pretty smart dude, too. Uh, if y'all ain't seen him, y'all go check out his channel, man. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty smart, man. And he's a, it's a small operation, you know, sort of like a lot of our, our operations, you know, kind of small. We got one, one, you know, solo, or we might have one guy or two guys working or whatever. He's, you know, he's in that realm. And he did a video this, uh, I guess yesterday or the day before yesterday, where he was talking about, you know, can you make 20 grand a month? And he was talking about, you know, set a goal. And y'all know I like to set goals. Set a goal and then, you know, uh, work toward that goal. Uh, or set a goal and then see what it would take to reach that goal. So his goal, he said, uh, was, you know, what would it take to do 20K a month? And that's a nice number. Y'all, any of you guys that uh, are small time like me, you know, uh, if you reach 20K a month, you're doing damn good. Uh, and I don't, I, and I, I'm, I'll be honest, I don't reach 20K a month uh, on the reg, for sure. Uh, especially mowing. Rarely do we, do, do we, do we hit that. Uh, we might hit 15, 16, you know, something like that. But rarely do we hit 20. Never if it's just mowing. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. Uh, if you don't scale right, uh, that I see, you know, if you stretch yourself out, this is just my thinking, and y'all know I got a disclaimer somewhere. If you, if, if you, so if you set a goal of 20K a month, and you actually reach that goal, well, number one for me, the problems that I would have with that is, well, I don't have enough customers uh, at this very moment to reach that number on the reg. So say, you know, and you're not scaling your business or nothing. You're just doing that with what you got right now. You know, you know, you got one guy working for you, maybe, maybe two guys, maybe one full-time guy and a part-timer or uh, something like that. You got two trucks, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. And you just, you know, you're just uh, mowing grass and doing shrubs, you know, just typical stuff that we do. You're not, you know, firing up no skid steer or nothing like that. And if you can reach that, that you're doing, you're, that tells me your density is balling. I mean, really balling. Uh, for real, real. The only thing about setting a lofty goal like that, and, and, and I'm talking about coming from a, I'm trying to make sure I word everything just right so I don't have a bunch of haters coming in the comments telling me what I said wrong or construing what I said because I didn't finish my sentence or whatever. Sometimes that happens, you know, not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, so if, if you're coming from a place where, like like I am, where you are got one guy working for you, you might have two trucks, you know, and you're mowing grass, it's hard to hit 20K a month. It's doable, but uh, doing it on the regular, well, that's gonna be a difficult task. That is. Uh, that would mean that you're at well, 20k a month times 12. That would that would mean you're at. That means that you're at 200. And, if you hit 20k a month, that means that you're at 240,000 dollars a year. Now we know there's a lot of expenses that's going to go into that a lot because to hit that number, you're going to have a lot of expenses. You're going to have labor costs. sure a lot of labor costs and you know uh, if you're just mowing grass boy you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have to be working long days and can't nothing go wrong that's gonna cost you downtime I mean that means every mower's got to run superbly that means you can't have a lot of rain either you can't if you get a bunch of rain for two or three days then that's a problem and if you better hope your guy or guys show up every day. I just think that that would be a, a hard thing to set for me. And I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about 
I know I'm gonna have guys come and go, well, Ray, hell, I can do that in a week. You know, I know. Uh, but for me, 20K a month is a lofty goal. It's doable, I guess. But I don't know that the way I'm set up that I could do it on the reg mowing grass. I know I couldn't do it on the reg mowing grass because I don't have I don't I, I don't have that uh, enough customers for that. But he but he's talking about also he's just talking about gross. You know, well there's a lot of things you can do to gross 20k a month. Got to look at what it costs you to get to the 20k a month. And uh, I left him a comment and hoping that he'll do a video on what it costs to get to that 20k a month because that's what's really important you know so it, 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 you know I know a lot of guys come on YouTube and and I probably am guilty of it myself to talk about how much we make and a lot of times we don't talk about what it costs us you know and that is everything really that what it costs us is is as important or more important than what we're making <laughs> because if it costs me nine hundred dollars to make a thousand well i ain't making nothing and that's kind of how you got to be looking at things uh you know you got to be looking at things like that uh, there's a lot of ways you can make 20k a month But what's it gonna cost you? Is it gonna cost you 18 or 15? Well, then you're no better off than somebody making, you know, 8K a month. Because if they only had $3,000 in expenses to make 8K, which brings them to 5K a month, and you making 20K, but it costs you 15K, you're only making 5K a month too. And I'm not saying that this is what's happening here, but that's some of the things that he didn't talk about in the video that I think is very relevant. You know, uh, and if you're young in the game out here, then, you know, you can get mesmerized by those numbers, you know. But those numbers really aren't true. I mean, I don't really know how else to say it. Uh, you know, I would like to know what it costs to make 20K a month in time, labor, equipment, and fuel. That's what I would like to know. See, and then once you, if it, if it, if it costs you, you know, $6,000, then you're only, you're only making, you know, 12 or 13,000. And I, and I don't, I don't mean to minimize only, but, <clears throat> you're a long way from 20 you know I just think that a lot of times we get mesmerized by the lofty numbers and the numbers are lofty and we get lost in on what it costs us to get that number that's all you know uh, and I left him a comment I hope he does a video on you know on what it costs to, to, uh, labor wise his time wise uh equipment wise and uh fuel wise and to do that that number for me to do that number with what i got the equipment that i got and the accounts i got and the geographics that i'm in to do that on the regular mm, mowing grass mm, and doing bushes and throw in a few little uh you know mulching jobs here and there mm. you'd be working all the time all the time i mean if, if you could do it without doing mulching jobs and mowing jobs you might have a better chance if you got enough mowing customers but once you got up to that number of mowing customers and you're able to do 20 grand then can't nothing go wrong uh if you're set up like i'm set up I mean, you can't nothing go wrong. You can't have a mower go to the shop. You'd have to go buy another mower to be able to sustain. And to me, when you're out here, an entrepreneur, for me, you know, you have to be able to sustain what you're doing. You can't just, you know, 
one month, okay. One month. Well that that's good. Yeah, but that's not that's not consistent. Consistent is where you're gonna really make your money at. Just like you know, you showing up to do these yards consistently is where your, your money's at. That's where you're gonna make your money. So, you know, it's just something to think about as, you know, uh, we roll into the off season. So, you know, it's, uh, it's deceiving, you know. Uh, I don't wanna, well, and dude is not, I'm not trying to dig at him or no drama at him or nothing. I'm just saying that to do 20K a month, it's gonna cost you something. And it's gonna probably cost you more than doing 5K a month. How much more? It's gonna cost you more than doing 10K a month. How much more? That's where you're gonna make your, that's, the, that's where you're gonna make your money at and your expenses being down low. If you can get a machine to do 20, 20K a month, then you're going to obviously do it faster, more efficient, and uh, and be able to do it more regular. If you're dependent on labor to get that money, ooh, ooh, and I don't care what you're paying people. That's, you know, and in order for you to make that kind of money doing lawn care and shrubs and stuff and mulch and stuff, you are going to have to rely on employees. And if you got employees like I have had, doesn't matter what you're paying them. Say you're paying them thirty dollars an hour. Well, that's that sounds good. But a lot of a lot of uh, guys that you know that come out here and work, they can't handle that kind of money. You know, they'll get that you know two thousand dollar paycheck. And they'll be like, just get straight stupid, you know. More money, more problems. And you know, but I, I just wanted to come on here and talk about that video. And uh, maybe I'll leave a link to that video in here because dude is really smart, man. And dude, uh, he, 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 he's on point, man. He really is. Uh, to be a smaller operator like me and like a lot of you guys. You know now we know that the bigger outfits well they are used to doing you know 20k a month ain't that much but it costs they got to do you know 60 or 80 or 100k a month got to in order to support the payroll that's just my thinking I have been a lot of guys are doing the uh are buying the weed eater holders that go on the side of mowers <clears throat> it's a pretty good concept really uh see for the x mark mowers this is why i don't have none of the, that see for the x mark mowers look at that see you don't there's plenty of space to see it even even i've had big big men on these mowers and you can literally see how much space you have see and I never you know and I'm gonna sit on the mower and show you I'm gonna keep the blower on there too because I'm at a property where I don't I don't I don't ever never do no walking man not ever and I don't have this big thing you know on the back of the machine see the x -Mart machine the, this is laser z x series see the weed eater will sit right there and dude it's not in my way at all look i got and i got the blower on it let's set the blower down all right i mean look how much space i got still you see what i'm saying and the weed eater is not in the way the weed eater doesn't get hung on nothing or anything see that was the biggest thing that i had issue that i had when i when i bought and i don't know uh i can't remember who who was talking about one uh but <clears throat> it mounts to this right see i don't even have these and, and you got to have this thing up 
I don't even have these things on there. I take, I take, I took them off because when they're up, you get hung. I mean, look at all the low trees and stuff, dude. You get hung up on all that stuff. And the reason why I don't like those weed eater holder things, you know, is because for me, and it's just for me, and I'm not, you know, uh, for the mowers that I have, uh, well, it sits too high up and it gets caught on stuff. I have ripped this part of the weed eater off before and bent the shaft on one because I had one and it was years and years ago. I don't remember what brand it was, but uh, I didn't, I took it off and I, I, I threw it away. Uh, I might even have it, you know, in, the, uh, in my garage somewhere. Uh, but that's how, this is how I, I, I do it now. And I, y'all know, I do, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I want to be efficient. And walking up here and walking back to the truck and back to there and back to the truck, that is not going to happen with me. See, I'm solo today. And uh, if you got a guy with you, I still have the weed eater with me. This weed eater right here, y'all, and, and this is just the 94R, but I have never put any... I don't, I mean, I always have a weed eater with me on this mower, on any of my x -Mart mowers, always. So much so that if y'all look, let me pick this thing up and y'all will see the plate right there, look. Y'all see where the plate is worn from the weed eater sitting there? Yeah, it's perfect. It's just perfect <clears throat> to me. And, you know, yeah. So, uh, that's how I do that, man. Uh, so, it, I mean, uh, I guess on a different brand mowers, it might work better. Uh, you can't put, you can't do the weed eater like this on a skag because the skag brake pedal's down there. You know, uh, and you can't put the weed eater on this side because you've got the foot pedal there for the uh, deck height adjustment. And I'm always riding that. And then you got, and you got the brake arm there. So right here is perfect on every x -Mark mower that I've had. That's, you know, a, a zero turn. Uh, and it's not in the way. Look, it doesn't get in the way of the things or nothing. Look, see that? And it's not hanging way out here. That See, that, that was the problem with the with the weed eater hold. It hung way out here. And you get, you try to get close to some of these trees and it would, it would uh, well, I done bent the shaft on a weed eater behind that. And uh, and actually broke the damn the hold uh, the thing that holds the weed eater that I bought. And this was ten years ago, so they might have got a better design by now. Uh, but I've noticed that a lot of guys uh, are coming on uh, YouTube and they're uh, ta are are talking about those things. And it's a good concept. It just ain't good for my X Mark mowers. This is the best concept I've ever seen. Now that might work on the Ferris mower because the Ferris mower there's no uh, well, this arm right here gets in the way. You can lay it on here like this and see it doesn't go anywhere because once that, once that right there gets right here, it's not, I ride with it on the trailer like that and everything. And y'all know I got racks and all, but I don't ever take this, this weed eater right here rarely uh, goes in the rack. It always is on the mower with me because this is the mower that I always run. It might be a good idea on the skag mower because the skag mower, the brake pedals right there so yeah it's just a few little things that i'm uh talking about today that really you know and i ain't i'm not digging at nobody and i'm not i'm just showing what i do you know uh and what i do is well that's what i do it's not meant to uh be the way you do things it's just the way i do things uh, and to me uh when i especially when i'm solo I'm going to always have a, a weed eater right here with me. And I'm going to. All right, y'all. So that's a wrap on these lawns. A lot of you guys might not be into shells, but these are, these are pretty nice. Uh, they're going to go in my new building. Well, Ray, you ain't even got the damn building yet. I know, but these these things won't be available by the time I get the building. I'm gonna just get them and get them home and get them to the uh, uh, 
get them up there and get them in the, I'm gonna put them in the shipping container. Y'all see them. Y'all see that, man? Look at those, man. Dude, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to get them for $1,000 each, man. I guarantee it, man. They are freaking... Hmm. Hell, I got... They's $500 worth of plywood. Three-quarter inch plywood, man. Dude. You talking about... I bet you I could sell one of, sell one of them and get my money back. I tried to buy four of him. I told him that I'd buy four of them off of him. Uh, and my thinking was I'll sell two and get my money back. Look at how much a shelf like this costs. I'll show, we'll, we'll take a better look at them when I get home. I mean, these things are freaking, woo. You gotta seize the moment sometimes, y'all, you know? You gotta seize the moment. Yeah. I don't know where you're gonna get no shelves like that for freaking 300 bucks each, man. You ain't. You know that you, your life has come to a certain point, y'all, when you get excited about shelves. Shelves that you had to pay for. Yeah, that's when you know uh, you might be over the hill. That's when you know you're redneck, when you get excited about shelving. Damn, y'all. Y'all gotta admit, they're big, dude. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna try to back into my driveway here. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of sketchy though. Tell you what, it's gonna be kind of hard to get these things off of here, really. Uh, I'm not taking them apart, so. They're kind of top, they're, well, they're really top heavy. So I really need to get the forks and get underneath this one. Get underneath this leg right here. It'd be cool if I had somebody here on the ground, but I don't, so. Clearly I'm not ready for them, but how can, how can you not buy these, man, for that price? But my forks need to be as wide as possible. As far as wide as they can be. You don't want it to be skinny because then it'll tip this way or that way. All right, I'll get video when I come up here and do this.
and uh, this, these are 29 inches deep uh, I was looking at some online and dude they're super expensive I mean brand new retail I don't even want to say the number until I uh, until I make sure so I just look real quick but the number on some of the ones that I was looking at is $2,000 $2,500 not cheap at all dude I mean I knew they weren't cheap so I've looked at shelving before you get the more cheap ones man they're four or five hundred dollars Right there it says capacity 7,000 pounds. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it, dude, because they are built like... I th and I think... I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can tell me. What are these right here? I think they're to put them together. It's almost like, and I might be wrong, man, but it's almost like they're upside down. Like this right here needs to be facing the floor because they wouldn't leave an open cavity like that, would they? See what I'm saying? Oh, one thing. I'm stoked to have them. Okay, y'all. I got to get in here and edit this video, man. Yeah, y'all.